Okay, guys, I got a just a sudden idea, uh, like literally two minutes ago, and it is to teach Facebook ads as I learn it, right? So I started Facebook ads pff, less than a week ago. I don't know anything. Like over the years, I've like looked at Facebook just a little bit and I've like dabbled and spent like six bucks and then <laughs> given up or something like that because I just wasn't ready. But now I'm going pretty much all in on traffic. So my intention is to learn this to a really high level. And I'm just going to teach everything I know from the very beginning all the way to being really good at Facebook. Like that's my intention, right? So if you follow this series with me, you could potentially... If, I, if it happens for me, you could also potentially become extremely good at Facebook ads. Uh, and if you're discovering this quite uh, far in the future, and you see that there's already like 10 or 20 or more videos, then you can probably be actually sure of it that there's some good content in there. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just going to show you basically what I know, right? It's not that much just yet. I have barely spent anything, but whatever, we're going to start. So, you know, you, you got to create a page, right? So that that's one of the first things you do. Like, you got to have a profile, and then you got to have a page. I'm, I'm teaching you the most basic stuff, right? If you come along and you need more advanced stuff than that, just go forward, no problem. So I created this page called the Internet School of Movement, uh, and I did that specifically because I'm, it's something I've become interested in. So you don't have to start something you're interested in. It doesn't matter. You can start anything that you just think is a good opportunity to make money. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, I just happen to choose something I'm interested in. And I got it together really fast, you know, just really fast. I was like, I don't want to screw around with doing anything that takes forever. I just want to get this thing going and just like put it up, put up some simple content, start running traffic start getting data, learn, and you know, once I hit like a little bit of traction, then I can make everything better, right? But more important is just like the learning of the whole business, right? Because what's really happening here is I've, I'm not just teaching you Facebook ads, I'm also teaching you like the creation of a business as well uh, from the ground up. Um, and and I'm, if you watch my previous videos, you would hear that I said, you need to start your business with a traffic source in mind and learning the traffic source from day one. You don't like build up your whole business, hope that it's right, and then find a traffic source for it and be like, oh crap, I don't know what I'm doing. You build your business with traffic from the get-go. That's how you do it online. That's just how you do it online. It wasn't really possible to do that offline before. You had to go build a whole coffee store or whatever and then realize that no one comes <laughs> or maybe someone comes, whatever. But people could potentially fail. These days, you just start spending a tiny little bit on traffic all the time. As soon as you put up your Facebook page, start running ads. Like a little bit, five bucks. Just start learning the ad thing like I am, right? So, I created this page called the Internet School of Movement. Uh, to make this picture here, I used an app on my Android phone called Collage Maker. Right? And I didn't spend any time on it at all. I just thought of like 12 pictures that were related to the type of thing that I think is cool. And I typed that in, I grabbed like a really basic image from Google. And just downloaded it. And I put it in a collage maker, clicked a different format, click save, done. Then I was like, oh, I need one for the, uh, for the horizontal one. I just changed the format, I put the same picture, done. Now, you know, I don't know these pictures, and I'm going to have to change them pretty soon. Like, if this, if this page gets any traction, right, I'll obviously have to change these pictures because I don't own them. But no one cares um, if someone makes some basic Facebook page for, like, a week. <laughs> like, you know, just with very basic stuff and teaches people some Facebook ads. Like, if any of these people care about that, get out of town. Um, you're crazy. Um, so... Next, you create an added account, right? Well, let me show you some other things here. You probably want to know this. Uh, the content. I was like, okay, I need some initial content, right? So I made it really fast. 
you know, you don't want to spend time screwing around making everything perfect, right? 12 of 12, see all, right? See, I don't even know Facebook, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't even know how to move around. It's such an ugly, weird layout. I don't know why people use this platform, honestly. <laughs> it's just horrible. Like, for anything in the business, why would you actually want to be on Facebook? So all I did was uh, I grabbed 12 videos about 12 things, and I literally just wrote, honestly, this is what this is, primer content. Just so there's something on the page, right? So I put up yoga. I just chose 12 categories. That's my fitness mentor. So I put him. Floyd, my favorite boxer. Uh, Usain Bolt. I don't really like running, but he's the most relevant runner in my mind. Uh, something I'm going to be learning. Uh, I've, I've never really consumed this guy's content, but I think it's kind of cool. He's too advanced, you know. Conor McGregor, I mean, I have a love-hate relationship with him. And he also doesn't know who I am. Um, Aerial Silks, that's something else I want to learn. Acro Yoga, something else I want to learn. And I've always thought this is cool. So dangerous. This is the thing that's like would be more scary to me than like anything like climbing a building and going hanging out on a crane <laughs> yeah but shut I was thinking about learning that dance I might still do it uh, and today I was like oh here's a workout for you so I was like oh, I'll just put up some basic content no worries so are you seeing why I'm telling you this it's I'm not telling you this because I'm like here's how to do something that's obvious and easy I'm just demonstrating to you how freaking easy this is and how you don't need to spend a lot of time at the beginning because I want as you go through this I want you to actually believe that you can do it. <laughs> I have to. I have to give you a, like nice and easy way to do it, right? <clears throat> okay. So I put up some other shit. I don't know where it is. Um, page info. I don't know. But you can go into this edit page info thing, and it's like there's all this crap here. Like I don't know. I better not go too far into that, or there's um might be like private stuff. I don't even know where the about thing is. I thought there was an about thing, but somewhere there's like an about like about here, right? See, I seriously don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, completely learning this from the ground up. That's proof, and I, I, you know, I hope that eventually I can just prove to you that you can start a business from complete scratch. Page ID, I hope that's not important. Uh, okay, so super easy, right? So then you gotta create an ad account. Um, I can't remember, like, like, how hard can it be to freaking create an account? It must be so easy. Just click on create account and fill in the fill in the details like like anything. It's easy. I mean, if you can't just make an account, <laughs> you know, don't worry. Manage ads, right? But ultimately, you get into this ad manager. Like this is the screen you want to be at. Like there's, if you click on boost post, don't do that. You don't get any insights. Boost, don't do boost post at all. That thing sucks. I don't know what the hell that's about, right? So here you look. See, you can see I'm right at the beginning. Around five euros. Five euros. That's it. Nothing else, right at the beginning. So, I have this ad account, whatever. And yeah, I've, uh, I ran one ad, got results, uh, uh, weighed up, like, thought, you know, I thought about it, and I've run a second ad, so that's where I'm at. Second ad's just about to stop. But I'll, I'll tell you how to create an ad first, right? So let's find create ad, right? That's the first thing you do. Like, I don't, you won't have any of this here. You just go create ad. Dup, dup, dup. Uh, okay. So cr create complete campaigns or create campaign shells. I don't know. This one. Mm -hmm. Guided. No, I didn't want that. Oh, yeah, yeah I probably do. Okay. So I'm going to go start over, right? Okay, so there's basically there's three things, campaign, ad set, and ad. Uh, I've been through a little course. They said that for the campaign level, like, you, you know, when you first come into it, you're like, campaign, ad set, ad. Like, what, what, how should I categorize this? Like, what should I put in campaigns? What should I put in ad set? What should I put in ad? Now, the, the fact is, it actually tells you right here, okay? Like, but there's a tendency, you get to this page, and you're like, oh, what is it? Okay, this, and yeah, whatever, some crap over there but this stuff over here here is actually really important right <laughs> like this is how you structure these things called campaigns and ad sets and ads because this is a really good way to categorize things so your objective is stuff like this like you know do i get a conversion here like a like or they watch some certain amount of video or click on my page or something or visit my store or interact with something right like view a video send a message like 
anything. You can choose any sort of objective and that's like what you make the campaign for. You're like, okay, this is a traffic campaign or this is a conversion campaign or this is a video views campaign. That's literally how you call them. And then when you get into the ad set, this is where like you define different targeting. Okay, so you go, I go this group of targeting, this group of targeting, and this group of targeting. And within those different targetings, it could be any sort of targeting, right? It might be age, it might be gender, it might be um, interests, you know, location, a whole bunch of things, okay? But you diff differ your targeting. Now it says here, like you can also see like budget, budget and schedule, by the way, placements, what's meant by that? Like uh, mobile news feed, desktop, Mm, feed, whatever, or like different places on Facebook, like right hand column, center, whatever. Okay, so you vary those things. And then down here, right at the ad, that's where you just change some really basic stuff, like literally just about the ad. So you do different text or a different picture, or you do a video instead of a picture or something like that. It's just the ad, nothing to do with targeting. So it's like objective targeting um, ad itself. Like if they just called this targeting, man, you wouldn't be so confused because I, just ad set. You're like, a set of ads? Okay, but what does that tell me? Campaign, targeting, ad. Right, so let's let's say you want to do one, right? Like, I reckon you what you should do is you should start from... Um, I was just thinking, I was just went in my head and, and thought for a bit there, um, and I should say something important. Like, the way I'm teaching this is I'm really going over the why with you. If you haven't noticed, like I could go through this so much faster and some people would prefer that learning style. Although I'm just going to teach, teach it in my personal learning style, right? Like, I'm sorry, like if you would prefer a different learning style, but you know, whatever, just like skip forward. I'm, I'm sorry, I just prefer to teach it in my favorite learning style and the people who like my learning style will be the people that get the most out of it. Um, or you can just adapt, right? Okay, so... Um, Let's go, right? So I reckon the first thing you should do is um, go for something that's really easy to get. See, if you go for conversions, man, it's going to take you, you don't even have any conversion data. So how's, it, how's that going to work? That can't possibly work, <laughs> right? That cannot work because like you have no conversions. It's just going to take ages. You're probably not going to get conversions. So it's basing it off on nothing, right? Like you'll get conversions later down the line. So you get, you go with like the easiest thing you can manage at the moment. So I would say that the easiest thing you can manage at the moment is probably like, I don't, I'm thinking, thinking engagement, get more post engagements, page likes, event responses, or offer claims, but I just wanna see what traffic is. Send more people to a destination. See, that's a runoff, right? See, that's, that's harder, right? So engagement is really easy, right? Like it's just they, they like your page. That's super basic. One of the most elemental, fundamental things they can do. So I recommend choosing engagement to start with, okay? Yeah, like um you're better to get people in through a page. If you like if you send direct direct from just random things on Facebook to um direct to a page direct to a, a lander where you're gonna sell something, you can do that, but I reckon it's gonna be more difficult. And seeing as the whole point of this is to learn Facebook ads, we're gonna go with something that's like easier and more introductory first, which is why we're gonna run it through a page. When you get like good at it, then probably you can just set up a really good funnel on the other side of an ad that's on a website and run it directly to people who are not even on your page. Imagine that, right? Like you get so good at doing this targeting that you can set up a funnel that generates a certain amount of cash per visit. And then you can go and just pay for people on Facebook to visit that page and just turn, <laughs> turn an advertising spend into a, you know, an actual <laughs> profit. <laughs> sounds good, right? Okay, so, but we'll start with something easier. I mean, I, I was saying that just so I could demonstrate how, yeah, it's obviously pretty damn good if you do it direct to a site and not a page, but we're choosing a page because it's easier. So you can get post engagement, page likes or event responses. And I reckon, hey, look, let's just keep it simple. Uh, I don't really understand like what post engagement is. It's probably like comment or share, but I think a page like would be more common. I think like, and it's just easier to keep in your head and you know, for the beginning event responses, like what is that? I have no idea. 
um, I guess it's like if you're running an ad to an event and they join up for the event, so that's probably not you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do page likes. Because remember, it's like objective. So we'll just call it page likes. If you are running multiple pages at the same time, you might wanna name the page if, if, it's, um, if they don't separate it like that, I'm not sure. So let's just call it page likes. That's our objective. So our ad set name, I'm gonna just walk you through um, how I created my first two ads. Just gonna, but I'm gonna point out like the weaknesses as well, and I'm gonna show you. Well, whatever. whatever. I'll just tell you. I'll just teach you my two ads simultaneously. I don't want to do one and then the other. So I'm gonna say that you know it's weird how they tell you to do the this ad set first because you're like, oh, I don't really know, and you call it something wrong. Like all the things down down here are where you choose it. So you know I would just like backspace that so it has no ad set, and then just like come down here and start to actually think about it. So you don't do custom audiences, right? You might think it's custom. Yeah, like I wanna customize the audience, of course. But that's actually if you have an audience like off Facebook and you wanna put them, put that onto Facebook. So detailed targeting, right? So, oh yeah, right. So now you're here, right? So you'll run into this and then you'll be like, hmm, I'm just gonna do that. But that's where you would be wrong, right? Because you're meant to do something before this. And if you go ahead and do this, you're gonna get crap results. So let me show you something fantastic. Um, let me open up another Facebook thing. Okay, so let's go to Ad Manager again. Come on. Um, and we're gonna click up here and go Audience Insights. So this thing here, Audience Insights, is huge. This thing is huge. I had no idea how valuable this could be. So yeah, you just go, I don't know, it, is, it does like, oh yeah, I remember why this seems useless, but it's not. It's like in the beginning, you're, all, you're only gonna worry about everyone on Facebook. Later, this will become relevant. So everyone on Facebook, okay? So. I'm gonna teach you a lesson on targeting right now. Uh, I'm gonna use an example. Like the first thing that came to my mind was boxing because the way I'm doing this is I'm thinking, okay, it's the internet school of movement, which is all these different things, like all these different sort of sports and disciplines that are related to really body movement as like the central core skill in a way. And I'm thinking now I don't wanna just reach out to people that are related to movement and type like fitness in or something like no I want to go after the specific sports that I think are a part of it or the, the fans of specific sports that I think are appropriate for this and then I want to advertise to them specifically right so I want to I want if I'm like okay there's boxing people and yoga people you know but there's many more but there's boxing and there's yoga I'm going to advertise to the boxing people separately from the yoga people I'm not going to go out and tar target like boxing people yoga people um whatever like weightlift uh, bodybuilding people you know like in seven more at the same time and show them the same ad no that's ridiculous you want to target like specific as possible and make multiple ads for those specific groups because if you put it out to you know people who are completely different of each other then you have to dilute your marketing that's ridiculous that's a complete waste of money okay so so the first thing I thought of was like, okay, I'll do boxing, right? So we're gonna do boxing. Whatever you got in your head, do that. Don't do boxing though, okay? <laughs> like, you, like if you're watching this, don't be like, I'm gonna follow along and do boxing as well. No, like use your creativity and um, brain and create one that's your own, right? So let me, let me demonstrate how this all works to you, right? So gender, men, women, whatever, Right, and, and over here there's this like information of like um, how like they're distributed, right? So when you actually put in some audience, this is gonna become more relevant because you'll see like, oh, okay, so they're from there to there. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so I was like boxing, right? So I was like, okay. But you know what, Before, okay, we'll, we'll go boxing, right? So boxing, okay. So say you go boxing and then you think, okay, should I, you know, okay, this is my thought process, right? It's like the Internet School of Movement is for both men and women. So I should target men and women. 
right? No, that's stupid. Like, don't target men and women with the same ad. That is absolutely stupid. Like, men and women are so different in their interest. Even if it's like something like a foot, like like a like rugby, right? Like like a like a hardcore game like rugby. Like rugby's rugby, but a woman's perception of rugby and enjoyment of rugby is totally different to a man's perception and enjoyment of rugby. Any sport, like you can just think about it. Like, are you gonna? You might as well run a, a female-oriented ad about golf to women who like golf. Of course, right? Like, there's always like some better way you can present the ad when you choose differentiate by gender. So I highly recommend that. Don't just choose the sport and go to all. Create two ads. So, by the way, there is a reason why you might run it to both. If you want to create a de create debate, I've had this idea, like, you run it to two different audiences that argue about something, and you create debate between them. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, you know, you run to Floyd McGregor, McGregor, I'm sorry, Floyd Mayweather's fans and Conor McGregor's fans, like, I bet Floyd Mayweather's going to kick McGregor's ass. Obviously, we're going back a year. I just think it's one of the greatest showdowns in history recently. Um, you yeah, know, that's going to create debate. Anyway, so... Boxing, right? So, check this out. This is so important. Activity. No, likes. Page likes, right? Go into page likes and take a look at this. So, if I go down to this stuff here, right, and I look at this. So the people that like boxing on Facebook, right, from 18, oh, look, we should go to men, right, that's fair. We should definitely put it in men, right? So the people who like boxing, the things that they like are these. Like most, most of the people, the average pe pe person has likes that symbolize these. So they watch Florida Gators, which is not boxing, AR500 armor, which is not boxing, not boxing, UFC, which is not boxing, oh, okay, fine, they have this boxing, right, NFL, like, this isn't even boxing, so even that, even though I've targeted boxing, I'm still getting just normies, like, you know, just liking boxing, you know, that's kind of, yeah, cool, but are you a fan of boxing, do you buy boxing things, there's a complete difference, so you don't just put in, like, boxing, Okay, if you're targeting people who like yoga, you don't just write yoga because you get all the wrong interests. Like, it doesn't matter what you choose. Like, if I change this to yoga, yoga, and see what I get. Like, and change it to women. Like, pottery barn. What? These are just normies. That just goes to show that for someone to be, to, to put a like on Facebook for this particular thing, or be, be interested, to be classified as interested in Facebook, means nothing. Because these are just regular people. Oh, they, well, like, it doesn't even say anything about yoga here. So, if you want to get people who really are actually in boxing, watch this. So, um, so I type boxing, right? This is how you do it. You type boxing. And then you look at these categories for something that actually is boxing, and you might find something, you know, first you change your men, right? And you're like, oh, okay, showtime boxing, huh, okay, showtime boxing. So what you do is you come back out of there and go, showtime boxing, and it's there. Now look at this, look, now I've got people who are into boxing, right, okay. They're actually into boxing. And if you go down here and look at this, look how into boxing these people are. They are, you know, like choose something else, 970 times more likely than the average person to be into this. <laughs> 483 times more likely to be into this. Like these people are way into boxing, right? Whereas, and categories that they're interested in are boxing. These these people on average are interested in boxing. Because just saying to, to be interested in boxing, that's nothing. But to be interested in showtime boxing, now that's some targeting, right? So what you do next is you can type some of these in. Now I actually wanted like 
from my from my first ad, I just ran like I ran like martial arts boxing like, and Mayweather. Okay, so I put martial arts in. That's so broad, useless. So what what I want to do is like I want to when you're doing testing, you kind of like want to test different audiences. So the ad I'm running at the moment, I haven't included Mayweather promotions, even though the video ad I'm running is about Floyd Mayweather. Because the next ad I want to run is going to have Mayweather. And I'm going to split test it, right? Now, I know someone's probably thinking like, well, that's not a split test. If you do one now and one after, a split test has, the, has to have the exact same audience like at the exact same times. Like, chill out, right? <laughs> chill out. You, you just, you, sure, you lower your confidence and you split test, all right? The whole thing about like having split tests to be so precise is total bullshit. Like, they, they need the significance that you need to reach turn is the, the number of conversions and traffic that people that you need compared to what pe- you actually need the number of people the, damn it the number that people think you need compared to what you actually need is so different okay so look golden boy right i'm going to type in golden boy is that how i spell it boxing like this right so i'm going to choose people that are into golden boy boxing and people who are into showtime boxing and i've just got so much stuff here like if i add like Gennady Golovkin, for example. Like boxing news. See, that's a good one. You try them out. You see what they do for you. If you look at it and you're like, oh, I didn't get a good change. A good change. You can delete it. Right. So these these people are like fairly into boxing. Top rank boxing. Golden Boy, Boxing News, and ultimately, this stuff down here is what's important, right? As long as this stuff is all about boxing, you're good. If it's like all boxing here, and all of these say hundreds of times more likely, I'd say you've succeeded. Like, it's probably, like, you you can probably do more and more and more advanced targeting. Like, the higher you get this affinity, probably the better, because you can be like, whoa, man, I'm really targeting to the hardcore fans here. So, you know, the hardcore fans, like, are, I can't speak 100% sure, but I'd say the hardcore fans are the people who spend money more so than the people who are not hardcore fans. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Um, I'm choosing the United States because I'm my f- test revenue source will be an affiliate store. All right, I'll show you how I'm doing that as well. Um... So it's going to be an affiliate store, right? So I was just using the United States, but whatever, just choose your own thing. Now, there's still age, right? Now, what are you going to do with age? So, like, literally, like, what are you going to do with age? Like, how do you make that decision? You can, it's a, it's a tough thing, right? Like, you have to think, you have to remember keep your, to keep your eye on the actual goal here trying to sell people like who literally want to buy right and i got a surprise coming for you that's going to change the targeting now that i give you this lesson you have to change you have to target people who want to buy this stuff right like you have to think about what you're selling let's say i'm running a boxing e-commerce store and it sells boxing gloves mouth guards bags mitts wraps you know all sorts of boxing stuff so who is my ideal customer Well, you might think it's people who are interested in boxing, but that's just people who are interested in boxing. Then you might think, oh, well, okay, I want to be more specific. Like they really like boxing a lot. Boxing news, Golden Boy boxing, Showtime boxing. So now I've got like people who are like really fans of boxing. But what you find out when when you, when you ask yourself the question, wait, I'm trying to get people who want to buy stuff online, right? This, like, when I started to think about age, I was thinking, like, you know, what age buys stuff online? But then it gave me the idea, like, what what interests buy stuff online? Like, none of this here qualifies them as buyers. Showtime boxing might, because if these people have Showtime, you know, boxing news even, maybe these are all pay-per-view. But you really want to choose things that really qualify the people you're going after as buyers of what you're selling in the way that you're selling it so if i'm going to be selling e-commerce then 
what I would like to like what I would like to find out is like a boxing store, right? So you can put in you have to find out like what are the things that people like that are related to boxing stores. Like I, I saw it before, or I'll try to think of what I saw before. I think I did like yoga. Like like check this out, right? Like bo Dick's Sporting Goods, right? But that's a, but remember that's an online one. But if I target people who like Dick's Sporting Goods, I might find like an equivalent online store, right? Like you, you have to search. Like it's it's not it, there's no magic formula for like hmm what's my targeting, right? There there is no magic formula. You have to sit here with this thing and figure it out, right? East Bay, like, I don't know, like, um, what are some of the biggest boxing stores in the world? Online boxing store. Or I could search on Facebook as well, because then it will actually be a store. Uh, online boxing store. Searching by name instead of function. Boxing, right? Showtime boxing. That's probably a good one though, by the way. HBO. What? Places. HBO. Let's go back to Google. Ringside, right? Like imagine if I go back here, type ringside and it comes up ringside boxing right can you like you might have been thinking oh where's he going with this is this really going to work but look look what i just found right these people here like try to understand the, the gravity of how, how meaningful this is like uh, wait what i should check that ringside boxing is actually a store right yeah see these people are like a brand of boxing are they a brand right they're a brand i don't know the brands Right, so yeah, that, that's another way you can do it, right? right? You write brands, so like, what's another word, right? Like, Everlast. Yeah, see, there's Everlast, yeah? Everlast, boxing. So these people don't just like boxing, they have bought boxing gloves or something, right? Like, you have to choose people, you have to choose ones that are like actually buyers of this stuff. See, these people like heaps of things that are like companies, like they're interacting and spending money, right? And I bet if you go to activity, 33, you know, it's just average, no big deal. That this is another important place. Like you can see how many people click, click ads, how many ads people click. So now we can start to do some targeting, right? Uh, for, for age. So let's go back to page likes. Whoa, man, <laughs> these people got some affinity for a boxing, like, e like everything's over 700, like that's one of the highest I've seen. So I'm telling you, you target, um, you target specifically ones that indicate online buying interests, or more specific, more generally, uh, interests that represent that they're interested in buying your product, <laughs> you know, just choose interests and in hobbies or anything like that. It's interested in buying your product and you can get things that represent that. <laughs> no problem. So you can definitely get better targeting. What I've been thinking of doing is I've been thinking, I'm just going to target it of people around my age kind of, because, you know, I know people of this age better than any other market. It's kind of silly to go outside of that so I was thinking okay I'm just gonna do men 25 to 34 and I'll also do a, a women one as well um, so I'll, I'll do both men and women I mean fact I don't know as much as the, about the women niches as, as men so but you know I'm, I'm still gonna do it um, okay yeah so whoa look at look at the affinity here right isn't this insane like these people are into like not just into boxing but they're into things right like they're into stuff they're so into it that they're 3000 times more likely <laughs> than, than regular people like whoa these guys are into it and they're into a brand like these people are going to buy that brand for sure okay like you run them to an ad for a product that's you know, Amazon Everlast, like, 
if you can get them to that cheaply enough, they'll be like, oh, sweet. You know, okay. So, uh, you know, demographics, like choose whatever you want. Like you, you, you can, you know, look at the things like when you put in, you know, the demographics, like you compare like what's happening here, how's it affected here, how's it affected the activity. You're just changing, like this is if you don't care. Like I recommend you just do your own, your, your own identity because then you're going to know it better. But if you just, if you want to serve some other niche for some reason, like I don't really, like I used to serve other niches than were my personal interest. And I don't really get the point of that. Like, why would you want to sit there at your computer and serve the people of another niche? Like talk about self-sacrifice, right? <laughs> Big time, I reckon. Like just sit there and do stuff you're interested in. Like what niche should I go into? Like uh, the niche that you like the most, duh. <laughs> Sorry to like really rub someone's face in that if that just happened. So now you figured out your targeting, right? You figured it out here. So you don't figure out your targeting uh, in that other place. Where is it gone? Is it here? Yeah. No. Oh, it must be this one. Audience insights. Where am I? Where's the one where I'm actually making the ad? That's that. I have no idea what's going on here. I don't know. Oh, I don't know what happened. Sorry. I'm here on Audience Insights, and I'm on Audience Insights in this one as well. Hold on. Maybe I'll just click back. Oh, it's just going back to different Audience Insight. I think it's this one, though. Here we go. Yeah, leave. Okay. So you go in here. And yeah, what happened to our campaign? I don't know, it disappeared or something like that. So create campaign. So here it is, okay, it picks up where you left off. That's one of the best things. Um, continue, right? Okay, so here we are, we're back here, right? So now we can actually do the targeting. So no, we're not gonna have to target people who live in Spain. What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> did I guess right? No, Facebook. Um, Okay, remember, just remember your, hello, here it is. Maybe you can like open this thing in another tab if you need to check back at, at all or just have a memory. You know, I, I, I think it's probably best to choose English here. I mean, I haven't tried not doing it. Like probably most people pick English, so you could probably scoop up some pretty cheap traffic <laughs> by putting, um, by not choosing English. Okay, so right, so what were they? Shit, I've forgotten. <laughs> Everlast. <laughs> Everlast Boxing. And the other one was, oh Jesus Christ, I was just making fun of not having a memory. Um, What was it? We've got Everlast. Oh, Ringside. Okie dokie. Are you loving how imperfect <laughs> this uh, video is? freestyling okay so we got ringside is that ringside boxing though just let, let me try that one more time ringside boxing yeah be careful be careful okay so there we go see there's this exclude people i mean that's gonna be good i mean we're gonna get into that for sure like <laughs> that's gonna be crazy like uh if you don't exclude people think think of it this way my friend alex told me this he said, think, think about this, like if you don't exclude people, then you're gonna get the people who other people are excluding, okay? So other people are excluding people. You're not excluding people, and I'm not excluding people, it's gonna be me as well. I'm gonna get the excluded. That's who I'm gonna <laughs> advertise to. Okay, not necessarily, of course, it's not like everyone in your whole list is gonna be the excluded, but like you will be getting traffic that you don't want so like you don't want to have look one of the most important things i'm learning in traffic is that you don't want to advertise to people you don't want okay you want to rule out all the people that you don't want like that's the beauty of facebook like you can identify that the people that you don't want and you can like really hone in so specific on your audience okay 
Um, yeah, this excludes people who like your Facebook page. Um, now, I've heard that you should um, click edit placements because if you click edit placements, then you can choose all this shit. But fuck, who knows? Like, you know, we're, there's so much to test at the beginning. So just do it automatic for now. We can test edit placements later on. No big deal. We're just like, you know, it doesn't matter. Like, you got to spend, you just got to start off spending. You don't, don't expect to make any money straight away, right? You just spend like, oh, I don't know, how about this? And then just pay to learn, basically. That's what we're doing here. Yeah, so basically daily budget. Um, what I, well, the way I do it is I'd put it like, the start date one day in advance and the end date two days in advance, right? So run it for just one day. There's no point running it for more than one day because you're throwing your money down the toilet if you're just starting, <laughs> okay? There's no point because like, you probably made a mistake. It's not an insult, it's just you probably made a mistake. It's not like, like your money's going down the toilet no matter what, okay? So you either run it for one day or three days, it's going down the toilet. So just run it for one day, learn, reset, and do another ad that's completely different. That's what we're that's what we're doing here. We're doing these short circle cycles where we learn and get better every single day. Every single day we're gonna learn and get better. Okay, so ta-da! Daily budget. If you want to put more, you can put more. Doesn't bother me. Just check these advanced options. Yeah, I mean there's probably something going on here later, but who knows? So continue. get lost uh okay so yeah like you can choose whatever you want i mean do i really need to explain this stuff for maybe um see what i did uh and it probably wasn't necessary because it's like you, you always want to minimize your effort here you don't want to spend too much uh effort on this right like uh, understand this principle like i fucked up here because i went and i went and ran a video because i was like well that's gonna get more engagement right like uh, get this data or something like that like how many people watch 10 seconds of it but you know after i ran it and i checked how many people watch 10 seconds i was like well whatever <laughs> who cares like i could have just ran an image you could you know just learn what i was doing in a cycle okay <laughs> so i would recommend for your very first image you just run an, your very first ad you just run an image like who cares doesn't matter at all just just go single image derp, and uh free stock images <laughs> like who cares, right? Just go boxing. Right? Like, who cares? That looks like a boxer. Confirm. Look, there you go. There's an ad. You know, people spend forever optimizing their goddamn ad you know, creating all these like fancy crap on the ad and doing copywriting and stuff. This is, you know, old me, previous me. <laughs> like optimize your lander and stuff like that and optimize everything first and then like suddenly drive traffic to it and be like, oh, whoops, don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> right, so don't worry about optimizing your ad image. Like you know, on your first go, you can do a better ad image next week or something like that. So... You know, it even gave me some um, uh, copy from last, from my about page. But basically, just write some copy here. Um, you know, like, what could you just write that's really basic so it doesn't look just completely stupid? Because um, you want to get some data, like, at least you could get a like or something like that. Or, like, um, uh, like, you could just go boxing you know you could just make it like you can make it look like an ad where this page is just like a happy page right boxing is one of the best sports for movement in the world um and then you can get like really opinionated like people think uh people think and you can just write anything that's like opinionated like you even go people think yoga or like Pilates is good for your body. And then you can go, please, 
right? So this is going to get like a little fan engagement because all, all you really, uh, potentially, I mean, I don't know if people are going to engage with it. Maybe everyone who sees it will be like, lame. But, uh, you know, you want to just like get engagement. Like you want to get like a look, you want to get, you know, debate and sharing and like people commenting. So you get like this organic outreach. Like if you don't get that, if you're just, if, if you think that you're going to run an ad and you're only, um, it's funny, didn't I say at the beginning that I would choose page likes? <laughs> but now I'm realizing, like, uh, you know, that's just how it happens. You realize as you go, like, uh, well, remember, like, you sh so, but still, you should probably optimize for likes at first, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure anymore. Anyway, but, like, if you think you're just going to run an ad just to get likes, and you think that, like, the quality of the ad conversion to a like to the person who sees it. If you think that's how it works, well, then you're wrong. You're, you're not just running an ad that goes in front of one person and they like it and you're counting how many people see that and click like based on the ad, right? Just the ad itself. No. The only way you're going to get a lot of likes, like a actually relevant lot of likes and build your page is if you really get people to engage with it and like it and share it. Because the kind of like org organic reach that you can get would be insane, right? Like it's it goes out to other people's friends. Like that's just, just goes out potentially virally. But it's not gonna do that if you don't design it like that. Like you need to design it to make it something that's like discussable, shareable, right? like emotional, like if you don't put any, like, um, encourage their dreams, uh, allay their fears, confirm their suspicions, um, tell them it's not their fault, which is excuse their failures or throw stones at their enemies. Like you're not going to have any sort of like, boom, <laughs> like, like there's not going to be any sort of like, you know, them resonating with you or anything like that. Uh, so I'm like throwing rocks at their enemies, right? Like, yeah, man, boxing's better. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, please, boxing moves your entire body, right? Way more than yoga. Right? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, so there you go, there, just some simple thing like that, right? No big deal. And then, um, just go confirm. So there's some error, like, what did I do? What did I do? Your audience is missing a location. Um, well, I mean, I can't do it here. What? Sorry. Text. Images. What does it want me to do? Oh, fix error. Mm -hmm. Continue. Oh, thank God it saves it all. Yeah, I've noticed it kind of saves it. And then you just go confirm. I think I might have just clicked like mobile newsfeed or something. I think it's just previewing what it looks like. No big deal. I don't know what's happening here. I'm just going to delete this afterwards anyway. Um, where is it? Page Lex. Anyway, so you're going to see that if you go into your campaign, now you've got your targeting, US 25 to 34. And then if you go into that, then you've got your ad. Um, now, you could, of course, like split test your image or something like that, like some fancy stuff. Like, doesn't matter. It's day one, bro. Day one. Follow along. Follow along. Just get, get that. Like, how easy was that? Was, you might have to wait a couple few days for, you know. But you can basically follow along day to day. Okay. Uh, I think that's everything I know. Uh, but uh, I also want to show you something else because you'll probably want to monetize your page immediately, right? Like, I was thinking that, about this. Like, how do I just, like, get some revenue really quickly? Um, uh, don't, don't leave this video at this time. This is going <laughs> to be pretty damn <laughs> useful to you. Um, you can create a Amazon affiliate store in like a freaking hour. Like mine's um, 
I just gave it to my assistant to work on. So, and it's like pretty easy. You just get a Shopify account and you can create something that looks like this. It's not finished. Catalog, right? Like, look how easy this is. Like, this is not great or anything. I thought you'd done uh, 71 products. So I don't know. I don't know how it works, but like, well, it's on different pages, right? She hasn't put it into collections yet or something. But like, it's like a fully functional store. This stuff, and look how good it looks. Ready? Look at this stuff. Oof. So you put up a basic store and just connect it to the Facebook page just that like, so that you're ready. Like if someone comes over to the page and they just, you just have something at the top that's like, check out the store. But anyway, like, um, I'll show you a bit more in a future video, I think. Uh, what I'll do is, like, you need Shopify for this, right? So, look in the, um, because I've heard that there's um, a Shopify affiliate program, I'm pretty sure. So, what I can do is I can put an affiliate link in the comments, in the description of this video, right? So, if you sign up for Shopify from this video, then I'll get a payment from Shopify. Uh, you don't have to do that. But uh, that could be a good way of saying thanks for the for the video. Um, if you so please. Um, so in the next video, I have no idea what I'm going to teach you. Uh, I'm probably like it's quite possible I might be able to tell you how to actually set this up because I think by then, like my assistant will have done it. Um, if she has, then we can. I will basically show you how to set up the whole store. Um, and, and geez, I reckon I, I'm going to title this that next video, like how to create, how to create a Shopify, Shopify, Amazon affiliate store in one hour or something like that. And I'll literally show you right in front of your eyes, me create an entire store, like that's ready to generate revenue, um, in an hour. Like it's just ridiculous. Like th this right here, this is actually re ready to generate revenue exists even though it's like incomplete uh anyway okay uh see you next time hope you enjoyed this video uh please um subscribe and like and share and comment ask me your questions in the comments for sure see you uh whoops i showed my skype um no biggie um see you next time